Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you how we can implement Firebase Analytics into React Native application. Basically, I am going to show you how we can track users' activity real time. Okay. So this is the React Native Scratch project, and this is the application uh, which I have created. This is the completely Scratch project. So firstly, I am going to install two dependencies so write npm i and then at the rate react native firebase slash app and the another dependency would be at the rate react native firebase slash analytics so hit enter now you can see uh, both dependencies are installing and uh, this is the console.firebase.google.com dashboard this is the page here i am going to click on add project and then write your project name here okay and uh, i am going to write the project name as rose kharido react native analytics rose kharido native analytics and then click on continue and then select this and click on continue and then you will have to create one account here so i am going to create rose kharido uh, react native and then click on save and then you need to select your country here and then click on accept and then you will have to select this create project option so the project is creating and inside our react native project so this is creating here here i am going to add two buttons okay one would be predefined button and uh, another would be custom button so with the help of predefined button i will uh, trigger the predefined event and uh, with the help of custom uh, button uh, we will trigger the custom events okay so firstly i am creating this uh, predefined button so the title would be predefined button and on press we will create this predefined button okay so just pass this and uh, the another would be custom button so just write custom button function here and uh, now uh, we will have to create the functions so just uh, copy this and inside this app write const and then write your function name and uh, this will be async type so just write this and then i am going to uh, use console.log and then pass this predefined function okay and just copy this and then paste this custom Uh, function okay so we have successfully created two buttons now but before this i am going to uh take one view here to uh to get spaces between this uh, both button so i have applied margin 16 uh, between these button okay and now i am going to open the terminal and write npx react native run android command to run the application okay so here and here you can see our project is created into flutter sorry firebase and just continue and then you will get this type of dashboard so click on this android option and then here uh, you will have to here you will have to 
mention your package name so just open android folder and then app folder and then inside this build.gradle uh, you will have to select this build.gradle and then search application id so this is the application id so just copy this and now uh, you need to paste into your firebase okay and then click on next I have al already Google services file so I am going to delete this on my download folder and then I am going to download my new JSON file ok so I am going to check whether it is downloading or not so I am going to click on this button again so you can see now this is Google services dot JSON file is downloading so you will have to use this JSON file so just open download folder and then click on this google services json file and then copy this and i am going to open my project directory and then inside directory i am going to open android folder and then app folder inside app folder uh, you need to paste google services dot json file ok and then click on next button and uh, after this and here you can see our application is running And over the screen we have two buttons which we have created predefined button and custom button the spelling is wrong so I am correcting them ok so here you can see and then click on uh, this next button and then click on this continue to console button ok after this uh, you will have to click on this analytics and then go inside this real time analytics so you will get this type of dashboard so inside this view more in google analytics so you will get the real time information of user activity ok so here you can also track the user activity inside firebase and you can also track inside google analytics so click on that button so you will get this analytics account ok and here you can also uh, track uh, real time activities ok which the user is triggering so now the user count is zero now ok and here nothing is nothing uh, here ok and now I am going to work on our predefined function so firstly I am going to import firebase analytics here so just write analytics and then import this from firebase analytics ok so with the help of this analytics we will trigger the event so uh, we will use await and then write analytics dot login ok login log login is the predefined function of this analytics ok predefined analytics and inside this log login uh, we will have to pass method and the method name would be facebook <laughs> so 
सो दिस इज़ द कोड फॉर प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शन एंड फॉर कस्टम इवेंट ट्रिगरिंग आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अवेट अवेट एनालिटिक्स डॉट लॉग इवेंट एंड इन साइड दिस लॉग इवेंट वी विल हैव टू पास सम पैरामीटर्स सो द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर वुड बी आई डी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू राइट एनी रैंडम आई डी हेयर एंड आफ्टर दिस आई डी आई एम गोइंग टू पास दिस पास एनी अनदर की दैट वुड बी आइटम्स एंड इन साइड दिस आइटम आइटम सो इन साइड दिस आइटम आई एम गोइंग टू यूज एनी नेम ऑफ द आइटम यू कैन राइट एनी की हेयर ओके आई एम यूजिंग सम डमी कीज दिस की विल शो ओवर आवर एनालिटिक्स पैनल वेन वी विल ट्रिगर दिस कस्टम लॉग इवेंट ओके सो अनदर वन इज डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड आफ्टर दिस आई एम गोइंग टू पास दिस साइज एज नाइन ओके सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली रिटर्न आवर प्री डिफाइंड फंक्शन एंड कस्टम फंक्शन और टू एग्जीक्यूट इवेंट लाइक प्री डिफाइंड इवेंट एंड कस्टम इवेंट वन बटन इज फॉर प्री डिफाइंड इवेंट एंड अनदर बटन इज फॉर कस्टम इवेंट सो अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू रन माई एप्लीकेशन सो राइट एन पी एक्स रिएक्ट नेटिव रन एंड्रॉइड सो दिस इज द एनालिटिक्स पेज एंड हेयर यू विल सी यू कैन सी द यूजर काउंट इज जीरो एंड द एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग हेयर it can take around 30 minutes okay uh, to get the status of the uh, user okay and here you can see when uh, i am hitting on any button then the function is triggering okay but uh, but the user count is zero that uh, means it is not working okay so uh, now you will have to mention the event name here okay inside this log event and then open this android folder okay into android studio and now you will have to open this uh, project level build dot gradle and app level build dot gradle so inside this project level uh, just uh, paste this class path okay and inside this app level build dot gradle you will have to uh, uh, add this line google services line and uh, here uh, inside this dependency you will have to add this analytics dependency okay after this i am going to 
run this application again so after this uh, you can track all the user activities we wish to add this all dependencies inside this android folder so just write npx react native run android inside our visual code editor uh, to run our application <coughs> And here you can see uh, the user count is 4 because I have tested, uh, paused this video and tested uh, that why this is not working. Uh, so now the user count is 1 and the application is running now. Okay. So uh, we will see uh, these things. So here you can see our application is running now. And uh, in the analytics section, the user count is 4 and uh, and here uh, you will see this login uh, because this is the predefined function predefined if event uh, which we have already mentioned into our uh, code okay this is the predefined log event and here you can see the user count is 5 because uh, we are uh, we have successfully run to our application and inside this login Okay, and just click on this right arrow uh, key and then you will get this key rose karido react native which we have mentioned here this is the event which we are triggering when we are hitting the button so this is the uh, rose karido react native log event okay Now I am going to uninstall the application and install the application again. Uh, so you will see the user count will be in, will increase. Okay, so I am going to run this application again. So just open vi Visual Code Editor and then write NPS NPX React Native Run Android. And uh, here you can see inside this rose karido react native we have all the keys id item description sizes which we have mentioned here inside this log event okay so the id is this okay uh, which we have mentioned here okay and item is product one so just go back and then here you will see the item is product one okay So we are successfully implemented this and uh, and the user count is 6 because uh, we our application is running successfully after uninstallation and then ok so just go back and then and inside firebase uh, dashboard you can also track all the data like uh, rose karido react native and you can track all the keys here also like id item sizes etc 